For this tutorial I'm going to show you how to put a sound onto a button. So select flash file, um, I've selected Act Action Script 2 because I know more about Action Script 2 than Action Script 3. Doesn't really matter at this stage anyway because we're not using any Action Script. So first of all um, select Window, go to Common Libraries, I'm just selecting a preset button. Uh, just because it's quicker. So come on libraries, buttons, quite like the retro buttons, so if we go to uh, classic buttons, in there we've got arcade buttons and I like the colour green, so I'm going to drag that into my library. Close that window unless you want um, multiple buttons. Drag that into the scene 1 area, notice that um, this is now filled up. Right, so now we've got to physically import the mp3 file that I want. So if I go file at the top, import, import to library, so that it turns up in my library over here. And I've got an mp3 file called thump2, I believe. No? Maybe it's punch2. There we go, punch2 import to library um, so now I've got to associate the sound with this button um, when you push down on it so to do that if you double click on the button so you go inside the button um, on any of the down functions which is uh, when I click my mouse when I left click um, you can select any of these down functions, it really doesn't matter. Uh, what you'll notice is that you've got get the properties panel down the bottom and where it says sound, you want to click there and then um, select the file from your library which is punch2 mp3 in my case and now if we test the movie by on a, on a Mac go command and return or command enter or the old school way of doing it is test movie so control test movie <coughs> and now you've got a button with sound on it <coughs>